with Senator I.P. Marcos. She joins us now live from Ilocos Norte. Senator Marcos, great to have you with us. Uh, Senator, uh, you are calling for the overhaul of the IATF and some of your Senate colleagues are calling for its abolition. Why are you calling for its overhaul when the government says that it has the best and the brightest in the country in this group of people? Oh, that's really alarming if this is the best yeah. and the brightest. But uh, um, I have called for the overhaul from uh, many weeks ago. And this is because clearly we need to have a science-based approach mm. to this pandemic. This is war. We need all the public health experts, all our immunologists, everyone on board. We also need to have our LGUs because after all, they're the ones enforcing and implementing. We need to get the private sector as well. After all, it appears that are going to be paying. So my question is, the president, like all of us, doesn't like to be preempted. I understand that. However, I will continue to call out for the truth because uh, this is rank ineptitude. Politicking, mm. I am a staunch administration um, senator. I have a job till 2025. I have absolutely nothing to gain. However, this continued ineptitude seems to be clear. Even the explanation for the spike, Rico, isn't mm. uh, clear. My easing daw, kasalanan daw ng easing of the lockdowns. Pasaway daw ang Pilipino. We had two long weekends in February. Now it's because there are new variants. They don't even know the answer. And then uh, we saw what happened with the draft administrative orders where they are turning down or mm. rejecting offers to donate and import from the milk industry, alcohol industry, sugar, and yeah. uh, mm. soda industries, including the tobacco industry. Ano ba talaga ang gusto nila? But, but, but Senator uh, Marcos, uh, you say ineptitude, incompetence, but the government says we're being led by two uh, very good people in Secretary Duque and Vaccine Czar Carlito Galvez. They are the ones leading the IATF. Yes, that is correct. And uh, we already know that the credibility of Secretary Duque has been questioned many times. Mm. And uh, he is the single doctor in uh, the uh, IATF. Secretary Galvez is a good soldier, but perhaps the uh, orders have become confusing and contradictory. So I think it is time to bring on board other people, other uh, doctors, more scientists, and uh, have this core group determine policy and thereafter for implementation and enforcement, let's cascade down the health response. This is a health issue. It is not a uh, legal issue, despite the number of lawyers on board. It is not a military issue, despite the number of generals on board. But Senator uh, Marcos, uh, they say that everything uh, that they come up with, all the data is based all on science. So uh, why, why still overhaul the IATF when this IATF, which has the best and the brightest people in the country, are basing all their research and all the, the information that they're sharing with you and I and the public based on science? I wouldn't prescribe or attempt to cure anyone of any serious illness by Googling on WebMD. Mm. Certainly, we can't do that for covid so it's really important to get the experts, public health, immunology, all these people on board. The LGUs need to come forward and say what they need. And we need to cascade down to the BHW, to the city health officers, to the regions. Since after all, sila rin pala ang gagawa ng trabaho. Yung private sector, they're all crying for red tape. This is the only country where despite 116 billion in loans, we still have no money and we're dumping the entire responsibility of procuring vaccines to the private sector and then we disallow broad swathes of industry 
from donating, including 3.4 million workers in the sugar industry, 2.2 workers in the tobacco industry, mm. countless numbers in alcohol, innumerable numbers in dairy and livestock. And uh, this is clearly rank ineptitude. And then uh, our health workers now are crying for help. I think it's time that we uh, call for volunteers, all former DOH officials, field health officials, many of them are really capable. All the medics from the military and the police can help. All of the repatriated OFWs who are stuck in the Philippines without work can help us and advise because so many of them are health workers. There is much that can be done and we can partner with them, with the LGUs who are really harassed and uh, hard put to find resources after one year of being locked down. What do you think then, uh, Senator Aimee, should be the status of Secretary Duque? It seems like President Duterte has full confidence in uh, Secretary Duque to lead this fight against this unseen enemy. Because a year ago, we just had 42 cases and now we're at more than 600,000. Should he step down? Should he take a back seat? Should he stop leading the IATF? Who should lead the IATF and who should be the others leading the charge against this in this battle? Can you name names? Well, we called for his resignation to no avail. And I feel very badly about that because, as you know, he comes from northern Luzon. So uh, it's almost family. But really, we need to have more public health administrators on board. We really need them. They are the ones who are used to vaccination, this insane uh, um, insistence that vaccinations should be carried out by hospitals. Hospitals' expertise in taking care of sick people, they don't do mass vaccination. What are these lockdowns, these silly lockdowns that keep changing names into circuit breakers, copycatting Singapore and the UK? Come on, we know what it is. I am not against granular or very specific and time-bound um, lack lockdowns, but they are useless. They only result in hunger and unemployment if not accompanied by massive testing, very serious contract tracing, and above all, those vaccines. Where are those vaccines? Mm -hmm. We need to have a very aggressive vaccination program of everyone who's willing to be vaccinated. Thank you so much for your views and for your insights. Senator Aimee Marcos joining us from Ilocos Norte.